Hi, this is Dyslexi, and I'd like to talk a bit about a potentially controversial topic that's been brought up a fair amount in the comments of my videos. What I'm going to discuss here is not the only way to do things, but it's something I feel passionately about, and I think it's worth considering for those that don't already play Arma or DayZ this way. The topic is perspective. More specifically, it's first person versus third person gameplay. In Shaktac, we've had our server restricted to first person only since sometime in 2006, if I'm remembering correctly. This came about as a result of our adversarial gameplay, which is to say, player versus player. Having third person on allowed players to do things that weren't really good for gameplay and were rather unfair towards their opponents. Basically, it allows you to gain knowledge without any consequence. This is my main complaint with third person in a player versus player environment, and it's the main reason why I won't play with third person enabled. The common reasons given for third person are based around notions of peripheral vision as well as spatial and body awareness. The idea is that since you're playing a game on a computer monitor with a mouse and keyboard interface, that certain liberties must be taken to give you the kind of spatial and situational awareness that you'd have in reality. While there's certainly some truth to that, I don't believe that third person is an answer to it. I'd call it a crutch instead. I think those who have grown comfortable in it might be surprised to find out how much intensity can be brought to the experience by ditching third person entirely. In third person mode for Arma, the camera is positioned behind and above the player slightly. Tilting the view causes it to rise and fall, and it's not hard to see how you could easily end up looking over things that you really shouldn't be able to. This detached perspective is often excused as a being representative of a higher field of view with greater peripheral vision, but that's not telling the story accurately. While it's true that you can see yourself in the area immediately around you better for a few meters, the total field of view remains unchanged. The camera's been simply drawn back a bit. It hasn't changed in the actual field of view. The gain of these few meters of lateral visibility carry with them far greater ramifications, ones which have no basis in reality. The first is that you can now see clearly behind you for a short distance. Obviously, you can't do this in reality. You can turn your head to see behind you, which armor permits, but you can't see out the back of your head if you're a typical human being. The second is that you now have that disembodied camera making it possible to look over or around objects without consequence. I'd call this an issue of comfort zone. It's less stressful to be able to stand next to a wall and see over it to know what lies beyond without actually revealing yourself or putting yourself in any danger. When someone's suppressing you behind a rock, it's, it's hard to get too worked up about it when you can safely view your attacker and anyone advancing on you through that disembodied camera. Or perhaps you're walking up a hill and want to see over the crest without exposing yourself. Third person makes this an easy possibility, and you can't watch a third person armor video without seeing people use these tactics, whether consciously or not. I think you're missing out if that's the way you choose to play. In Arma 3 in particular, you have a stance adjust system that allows you to peek up or down as much or as little as you want, allowing you to see over obstacles of varying heights in a realistic fashion that maintains an element of appropriate risk. Peeking out of cover during a firefight is dangerous, it gets you shot at or shot. It should be dangerous, that's part of the thrill of a virtual firefight. You constantly have to assess your situation and gather information while preserving your life and the lives of your buddies. It's a matter of risk versus reward. You peek up at a risk to yourself and you're rewarded with a view of the battlefield from that perspective. If you can just sit safely behind solid cover and use a disembodied camera, you're at no risk and the reward, at least in my opinion, is cheapened accordingly. Now that's the infantry side of things. When you introduce third person to vehicles, you get a whole host of unrealistic behaviors and again, in my opinion, you dilute and cheapen the intensity of the experience. Armored vehicles like APCs, IFEs, tanks, these have restricted visibility. There are only so many vision ports, the, the field of view is only so big through them, and even when all crew members are scanning their sectors diligently, there are still blind spots. A tank driver can't see behind him. A gunner typically has a very restricted field of view, and even a tank commander might not have the best all-around view while he's turned in. These vehicles introduce another risk versus reward factor that's really compelling, and that's of knowing when to turn in or out. The risk is that by turning out, your fleshy meat sack can now be shot by weaponry that otherwise couldn't hurt you through your vehicle's armor. The reward is that you can see much better. You don't have to rely on your periscope or other optics and you can quickly scan all around the vehicle. This becomes a compelling gameplay experience for tank or similar vehicle crews. It's, it's intense. It's a rush to be operating as a tanker turned out scanning the area, watching tracers flicker past trying to judge when the situation necessitates that you turn back in, but knowing that in doing so, you'll be missing out on the situational awareness that you'd otherwise have. How much are you willing to risk yourself to try to save your vehicle and your crew? 
Along those lines, vehicles should be at a disadvantage in an urban area or dense terrain. And when you restrict yourself to first person, this happens naturally. It's great. It's awesome gameplay. Even if you're not commanding, gunning, or driving a vehicle or aircraft, first person adds a great deal to the tension of the experience. Being a soldier in the back of an armored personnel carrier as you trundle into battle and hearing the bullets ricochet off the hull and the dull thumps of explosions, it gets your heart going. You don't know where the driver's going to stop. You don't even really know if you're going to make it out of the vehicle at all. There's tension. When it finally happens, when you finally get the order to dismount, you go from this cramped interior with some degree of armored protection back into the vulnerable world of the infantry. You find yourself thrust onto a battlefield with bullets snapping around you. In those first few seconds, you're trying to drink from a fire hose of stimuli. Where's cover? Where are my buddies? Where's the enemy? Where do I go? It all happens so fast, and it's all so easily destroyed when you just sit in your vehicle and pop into third person at a moment's whim. Flying is another aspect. There's really no need for third person when flying. If you can't land or fly without it, you just need more practice. That's it. It doesn't mean you're a bad pilot. It's just that you're relying on a crutch that's teaching you bad habits. It's so much more intense to be in the cockpit of your aircraft, working within the confines of the actual layout of the aircraft, and making your landings or gun runs or whatever from that perspective. I don't think there's too much that needs to be said about aircraft. It's just better in first person. It's more interesting. It's more intense. As a passenger, watching the terrain below you through the portholes in the cabin, or out the rear ramp, or by looking forward through the pilot's windshields, is so much more compelling of an experience than pressing enter and looking at everything with the total clarity that a disembodied perspective brings. Arma, for me, is about immersion. There are places where you have to fudge reality a little bit to try to abstractly represent things that come more easily in reality than in virtuality, but I don't believe the player's perspective is one of those. I think those who are playing in third person or running servers where that's allowed are cheating themselves of a much more intense experience. Particularly if you're playing against other human beings, it's only fair to enforce first person perspective. If someone wants to look at something, they need to be at risk in doing so. That's how it should work. That's how it works in reality. It's good gameplay too. I don't know, what do you think? That's my thoughts on first versus third person gaming, at least as it pertains to the Arma series. Whether you agree or not, I hope it's giving you something to think on. This is Dyslexi, and if I can see you, you can see me. Until next time, take care.